So I just saw a beer cycle. Everyone on board would uh, cycle together while they drink beer and move the vehicle. Look at that. That is super cool. Super duper cool. <laughs> so we're, we're in New Zealand. And I think, and I guess everybody knows New Zealand is such a beautiful place. But it's sort of the kind of place where when people talk about it, everyone is like, oh yeah, it must be beautiful, it must be nice. But then when you yourself are planning your own trip, you never really thought about New Zealand. And I think it's worth a visit because it's absolutely amazing. It's, New Zealand is like the prettier, <laughs> cleaner Australia. So it's exactly the same as Australia, if you like Australia, but it's cleaner and prettier. I think Aussies might, might just like, fuck you. Fuck you! How do they say that? Fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> yeah. We just came down from the hills and this looks like a bay, a bay area or a lake or something. And it's just beautiful, huh? New Zealand. And what a nice place to drive. Yeah. Except no speeding. What did I do in life to deserve this? Oh, look at it. Beautiful. Oh, wow, these that, people that, that are so lucky, right? Ah, a bit sideways, a bit, yeah. a bit too third front. Yeah. Hey, drive towards the edge. We have the camera. We can look at. Okay, come. More. Yes, alright. Right. Brilliant. Okay, so now we can the U turn here and look at the scenery. Look at it, you guys. It's unbelievable. Okay, so that's the XC60 T8 that is Polestar optimized. Ours is the T6 Polestar optimized. And now we're here in New Zealand for the Great Ocean Race. down to Auckland and then they're gonna cross the Pacific towards this treacherous water now for sailors only sailors who have passed here this point here one of the most dangerous parts of the seas of the world then only they qualify to wear red color pants I repeat red color pants do you guys have red color pants and that's a sailor thing, all right? You have to pass here in order to qualify to wear them. Yep. So yeah, we can't wait to uh, check out the boats and all that, the participating teams. It's not a cheap sport. It is costly, and uh, but it is something that shows the endeavor of humans. Hello. <laughs> Check out for that. Wow, it's pretty amazing. The whole setup. Look at all these boats here. That's the, uh, I believe that's the pavilion where the press con and all that would help. I'm not sure. This looks like the teams. The teams that, I mean, it looks like it, so I'm not sure. So the equivalent to the pits of, uh, you know, Formula One. So it's a very big thing, you know, Volvo Ocean Race because it's a race around the world on yacht. So we have, uh, you know, these, these, 
Yorks here. You see some from Italian boat makers, Dutch boat makers, British boat makers. Yeah, quite something, huh? Lovely. Uh, good experience. It is a good experience. Yep. Can't wait to show whatever's thrown to me later. Right. So this entire building, this entire setup is carried to every stopover. <coughs> right. So it's designed to be modular so they, they can take it down and ship it to the next stop. Amazing, uh, it's amazing the things that, 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 that they're doing. Welcome, fantastic. The whole setup is just amazing to witness this. Globally, 2 billion people watch Ocean Race, they know about Ocean Race. That's how amazing this is. On the uh, safety jackets, uh, it's quite a unique design. Quite, quite intricate. Look at it. So that's how you put it on to the back, and then you route it back up through a strap there. Yeah. Look. Can I put on? Oh. <laughs> yeah. mm. So that's our boat, so we're gonna hit on this and watch them race, lovely. So one of the big themes this year is to combat microplastics in ocean, you know, that stems from pollution and all that. So it has become a big serious issue where plastics started breaking down into very very tiny particles and they're eaten up by fish and all that and it goes back into our system as well as we eat the fish so this year's big theme is to combat this and two teams have this as their main drive and message so the boats are started but you can barely hear anything look at that there's no sound from the boats and these are V8s, okay? these are the Volvo Penta engines and Volvo even invented the, the, uh, all these drive systems and there's no sound and what I experienced yesterday on the boats is that I don't smell um, you know usually when, if you have experience on boats right um, you will, the diesel smell is unbearable these are clean they put catalytic, catalytic converters and they also invented the, uh, the steering, the joystick system so you can actually control the boat with just two fingers so it's, also, it's a Volvo Penta invention these guys, alright? Yes! Haha! <laughs> I'm gonna watch the race Yeah, so we're right back here now in the middle of uh, we just came up from the open port so it's not very far from the shore but of course uh, I reckon this is a deep sea port because all the big ships are able to stop very near to the coast so around these uh, we're on the exact same boats as what some of what you're looking at now so this is where we are we're on the boat and uh, the uh, participants see this is the team Brunel heading towards us so there are other team uh, Axono, you see that you see they are able to turn they are able to turn in such a short uh, distance despite the boat is about 20 meters long so the closer you are to the line at go essentially you may have like 
bit of a head start if people so are further these boats are amazingly agile they can make sudden turns you know and uh no, they'll be yeah. spread out so now they are sort of practicing testing all their equipments and all that and uh by 2 p.m later they'll be able to make a start okay so this round as you can see all the ships they have uh, turned the tide on plastics you know just to it's the theme of this year so these are all the private boats that come out here to watch the race you see all these boats around here there is a there is a very deep rooted uh, sailing and yachting culture here in Auckland so a lot of people have boats you know sailing out into the seas is part of their culture so uh, yeah. So these participants, they have travelled from Spain to Portugal and then from Portugal they travel to go past, the, uh, they would travel to South Africa and after South Africa they went all the way to Australia then they travel upwards to Hong Kong and then from Hong Kong they came down here to New Zealand uh, go past uh, what is it called Cape Horn which is one of the most treacherous waters in the world there, they say that there are more people who has climbed Mount Everest than there are people who pass Cape Horn so uh, going past Cape Horn which is the uh, southern tip of uh, South America which is Argentina and Chile there would be one of the biggest challenges and from there they will head all the way up to uh, was it New York uh, you know in US and from US they would go all the way to Cardiff UK United Kingdom and from UK they will they will race to Denmark and from Denmark to Sweden so that was sort of like a race around the world which is crazy so I'm not sure if you guys can see it but everybody has crowded the here to watch the start of the race and uh, of course the more privileged ones will be on boats like us watching the action close up yeah. there we are all the boats are here fantastic Two boats already crossed the yellow marker here. So now you see Matt Free is gonna the red one, Matt Free is gonna come and do a U-turn or a UE, what Aussies call them. And you will see, we will see them using the wind on one side. Later on they have to quickly switch sides. So what are they doing here now? Let's have a look. And just now we saw the other two boats once they do the U-turn. You see the other they are retracting the sail. Now they are quickly retracting the sail and once they make the U-turn and they pull the sail out to the other side. It's a crazy quick operation. Look at it. Super awesome. So that's what the crews are doing. Look at Brunel is doing that as well. They retract their sail. It's almost like a Yeah, it's almost like the, the J turn of boats, you know, they pull their handbrakes. <laughs> It's a very, very sharp turn. Look at them retracting the sail, and then once they make the turn, they pull the sails out the other side. That is super duper cool, and it's all labor work. I mean, the crew pulling the pulleys, doing it. And now they make their UE, their U turn. Now the last one catch up as well, uh, turn the tide of the sea, the clean, clean seas boat. This is the, the boat they actually wanted to support. <laughs> deep inside what are they doing with their sail oh they stop they stop strong okay are they able now they make the ue and then uh, they're gonna retract pull their sails out again oh a bit slow what are they doing they got stuck whoa dangerous whoa that's cool so the black one actually come in at a very high speed and they, they all managed to evade each other. That is pretty daunting. 
Yeah, now they're gonna try the sail and make the U-turn. Wow, that's super cool just now. You know, this guy barging in at all the others who just completed the U-turn. Wow, that's a super... Okay, now they make their turn, put their sails away, and then now they can chase the others. So it's pretty close now. It's really something that uh, we wouldn't know who's gonna lead. Pretty, pretty interesting. So if they want to turn this one, they will have to step on this button and then they twist this one and this one will turn. And if they were to want to twist this one, and then they have, there is another button below the carpet here. And they can even lock the two, I don't even know what is it called. A dial or a winch or a pedal. Yeah. So that's how they work together to pull the sails. Highly complicated stuff. Wow. Amazing. It's amazing. So we're actually on board the uh, map free. So this entire boat is made of carbon fiber. It's uh, so a Volvo design and Volvo commissioned an Italian shipbuilder to build it. And uh, everything is carbon fiber. Everything is carbon fiber. Yeah. So you see all these ropes are pulled all across the boats to control the sails. So they change direction and all that. Um, according to the wind and then we're gonna head into their cabin and have a look so uh, up here okay all these buttons that they'll be stepping on is for them to control different things on the boat all right pretty pretty cool and uh, we have to take off our shoes here so uh, so that we don't leave any scratch marks or whatever or damage their stuff and that's the uh, satellite equipment the entire boat is hooked up with cameras and all that so that is live view for internet audience so there is zero privacy and these are all the locks to lock the ropes that are routed across the boat so they're gonna let us in i'm gonna speak softer now so that's the you dress you eat Socialized here. Is water getting in? Uh, no. So, look at the entire no. boat. Well, it's made of carbon fiber. Everything is carbon fiber. Back, so you it's pretty amazing. Water, and the boat, this is the. the uh, there is a. It's just a few drops that come in. So, this is where they sleep. These are the bunk beds where they sleep. And they only get two hours of sleep every day. The boat is not powered by motor, but the motor is needed for um, salt water desalination because they have to generate their own water on the boat for drinking and for electricity generation when the uh, solar panels couldn't be worked. So you can see every single wall, every single door, everything is carbon fiber here. So this boat, this boat is like Pagani. Kiss my ass. So in total, you have seven crews. If they are all male, but um, if you have one female, you can have eight crews. So that will be the most optimal, the, the best, right? And um, if you have all female crew, you can have eleven person. All right. I see there's one guy that didn't like to be on the boat, right? He was counting Yeah, 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 that's right. <laughs> <laughs> like a game. See, we have 10 crew, where are the other four? We have 10. No, but so we're now in uh, Axo Noble's booth, where this boat that is built entirely from carbon fiber, they have a replica, not, it's not a replica, it's an actual one, but it's cut in half to show us what goes inside, all right? So this is a one-to-one. -one. Uh, is exactly what it is. That's the uh, life saving raft. Uh, let's go have a look if I have a space to. You, you can go in, but you have to take off your shoes. So, look at this. It's 
carbon fiber. So the, the how and all this is carbon fiber. And um, what are those that could be where they put their storage? Remember, this boat is cut in half, so it's half the. Uh, width. Let's go and have a look at their carbon fiber toilet, I presume. So, or really, that's a carbon fiber. I, I believe this is the toilet. So, wow. So, this is where you pee, pee into carbon fiber. I believe that's, if, if that's the toilet, if that's not, I apologize, but. Yeah, WC. So that's how they. You can pee into carbon fiber, huh? Well, you have to do the best out of it. <laughs> that's the toilet? Yeah. You can kiss it. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I don't really understand what are these. Yeah. So, this is where they sleep. Basically, when they circumnavigate the, the, the world. Uh, the earth so that's where the crew sleeps all right not exactly luxurious even though these are super expensive boats you can see the entire construction is, is entirely made of carbon fiber so wow not easy that's the motor the motor is used to generate electricity so for their laptops for their system equipments and all that and of course they have solar panels so wow Pretty amazing. So that's where they do the adjustment on and steer the boat. Those large steering wheels. That's how to steer the boat. And uh, that's maybe probably the control room or something. You know, with all the connect connectivity stuff, modems and all that. They have their own satellite connection. And that's pretty basic. If you look at it, right? Even though it's a huge boat, but weight reduction is still very, very much important. Even the terminal is made in carbon fiber. That's yeah, a navigator, a yeah. Navigator. Wow. So you have some screens and some That's pretty amazing. electronics. Yeah. You know, how doesn't see the sun. Oh, yeah. see looks as screens. Wow. All the time. Yeah, so that's where they enter the cabin. And that's about it. It's... Yeah. Not easy. Yeah. So, uh, that's how... So the entire boat is uh, 20 meters long. And, uh, yeah. That's the satellite equipment. That's about it. And you travel around the world in this vehicle. Uh, nine months race and with a crew of seven person. Yeah, pretty amazing. Hello! <laughs> <Woo -hoo. laughs>